Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. I never tested a Tylus golf ball. So today, I'm gonna test a golf ball that many of you guys may have tried. It is the Tylus True Feel. Very popular ball, not a premium ball. Let's see how the True Feel plays. Welcome to my channel, I'm Mr. Short Hitter. You can be short up the tee and still be a winner. Welcome to Sunday Subscriber Special. I'm gonna release a video that a subscriber has suggested. This video is for Kylie's 1212 and Principal Drew scale models. The Tylus True Feel actually recorded a while back and never released. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. That ball felt probably about as soft as you expect from a ball that that uh, doesn't have a premium urethane cover, ionomer cover on this golf ball. The compression I think is probably the lowest in Tylus lineup true feel they want it to feel kind of soft all right guys we rolled it up by the middle of the green not sure if it stops so it may be either on the back of the green or just long let's get up there and see what we can do with the Tylus True Feel. We had a really good shot there, but there was absolutely no way to stop it. We've got maybe 25 feet. Uh, maybe 30 feet coming back up this hill. So this shot had nothing to do with the ball. Unfortunate bogey there. That's what we do. On a 372 yard par four, dog leg right this is going to be a challenging hole it's into the wind normally i would hit a hybrid on this hole but it's playing so long today to get any chance of making par i'm gonna hit a driver it's a tough tee shot okay guys i kind of lost sight of the ball there but i saw it come down i don't know if it hit the little tree on the on the right side or right of the fairway if it flew there didn't feel great. This hole, if it's in play and we have a shot at the green, that's not too bad. All right there, guys. We got 158 to a back right pin. We don't want to be too aggressive here. I'm going to hit a 7 iron. Hopefully fly it somewhere around the middle of the green. See if we can get back to that pin. All right, guys, we made a pretty good swing there. Cut around the tree a little bit. It went a little left of the pin, but I'm not sure how far it flew. Get up there and see where it's at. All right, guys, I think you can see the ball mark there. This ball actually flew past the pin, so it probably flew 160 in the air, and it only released about eight, eh, about eight feet there. So the ball carried a long way. know what's the odds of that probably only birdied this hole i don't know a handful of times in the last few years i don't know what the odds of making a birdie in this video is guys that's kind of the funny thing about golf i made birdie on that hole which i don't birdie it very often but the other thing i don't do very often is hit driver most of the time i hit a hybrid so i'm coming into that hole from majority of times 160 170 yards this time hit a little further hit it down the hill back pin i still had 158 but it was a back pin you know it is a little bit different you know sometimes being a little bit more aggressive may pay off although most of the time i don't do that this hole is into the wind 360 i'm gonna have to hit a driver to make sure i get it over that creek All right guys, that swing may have had a little tightness to it. Was not very fluid and did not hit it really good. Hit kind of like a high fade. I hope it's not blocked out by the trees. Let's get up there and see what we got. 110 to a front pin. Actually, this ball probably traveled a little further than I thought it did. I don't know if it bounced and released. Into the wind, what a pitching wedge.
Okay, that's somewhere left of the pin. I'm not sure if it got there or not. This ball is flying really high. You know, these ionomer covers do tend to fly higher, uh, less penetrating flight. Sometimes I feel like you get jumpers out of the blue that'll fly higher than the others. Let's get up there and see what we got. Looked like we hit a pretty good shot in here. Ball flew, only released about a foot or so. Most of the time when I shoot these golf videos and play a few holes, I don't make any birdies. I already made one, and we've got a really good opportunity here about a 15, 20 footer. The purpose of the video is to obviously test the ball out. If we make back-to-back -back birdies, we may consider switching to a Tyler's true field. All right there guys, it was a pretty straight putt, and I thought I had it. Two putt par, we're gonna 14, we'll play this hole from 180. All right guys, so one thing I will say, out of all the balls I've tested, normally I play a few holes. This is probably the best approach shots that I've hit. I'm not saying it's the ball, but it does you know, make you wonder, when we choose a ball, are we choosing a ball sometimes because we had good luck with that ball, we play well with the ball? Because if I went with this ball and I hit these three shots, played 18 holes and you know, shot some great round, shot a couple under par or whatever, would it make me think, hey, maybe this is the ball I should put in my bag because I've hit probably the three best approach shots I've hit in a row in a long time. We've got about 15 feet or so for birdie. That ball actually hit back and it kind of a down slope and it did release maybe 20, 25 feet, which still isn't bad with a four hybrid. See if we can make another birdie. Another thing I'll say is these greens are rolling incredibly nice. It's got nothing to do with the greens, me missing that putt. Putted a little more aggressively than I normally would there. And let's go to look at the numbers inside of this Tylus Truefield golf ball. Plays well outside. I'm actually going to switch it up after I hit that shot and hit that putt. I would say it's a little bit on the softer side, which for many people is pretty good. The Tylus Truefield launched about 3 degrees higher than the Pro V1, had about 300 RPM less spin, 3 degree steeper descent angle and a peak height of two yards higher. With the seven iron, the ball speed of the true feel was three miles per hour slower than the Pro V1, launch one degree higher, spin 500 RPM less, the descent one degree steeper, the peak height one yard higher, and the carry four yards shorter than the Pro V1. With the driver, the true feel lost one mile per hour Club head speed, launch very similar to the Pro V1, the descent the same, peak height two yards lower, and the carry two yards shorter than the Pro V1. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday subscriber special. To check out a video where I play a 7,000 yard course, click the video to my right. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter. Out. I'm here to inspire you to play your best Or just watch me your screen to release some stress This beautiful game that we all play Can unite us together and make a better day